Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Browns post game show. The final score the NFL 45, the Browns 42. Joining me on the program is Bronk from England and Brian in Ohio and uh, and uh, Stephen from Texas and uh, Arizona. Yeah, uh, oh, Arizona. I forgot. Arizona. Uh, I'm just tired, folks. I'm tired of it. Uh, there's no point in cheering for this team. You got robbed. They're never going to have a chance. They're never going to be given a chance, a fair chance to win football games. It is epidemic. It is the history of the organization and the league just will not let this loser image go. They just won't let it go. It's too good a headline. It's too good for their ratings. It is, I mean, this is, in my mind, a waste of my time even talking or analyzing about this. Total waste. I mean, how many times do you have to win a damn game in order to win a damn game? And, I mean, let's look at this for what it is. How in the hell? They call a fumble on Baker Mayfield, which is a fumble, by the way, because his arm wasn't moving forward, and yet a play in which the quarterback wasn't even moving his arm to throw the ball where he fumbles on first contact that Ogan Joby picks up to run for a touchdown. How can that not be a fumble? But that's just where the fun begins, all right? How in the hell can you change a spot when you don't even have a replay that has a camera that is straight on angle from where the man went down. How, and, and, and when you call it on the field that it's a first down and all the Browns have to do is go into the victory formation to win the football game, how do you overturn that? And the answer is you're paid to do it because it's Cleveland and it will always be that way. It, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters anymore. Baker Mayfield doesn't matter. Nothing matters. This is the league's prerogative. They're going to continue to do it. And I got another one for you. The play that we tried downfield to Duke Johnson, how is it possible that our guy earlier in the game gets called for a hold when all he does is touches the guy within the five-yard limit, yeah. uh, Brian Body Calhoun, when their guy is allowed to bump Duke Johnson 15 yards down the fucking field. How is that possible? Watch the play again. That The reason there wasn't nearly as much separation as there would have been on that pattern, on the, on the stop and go, is because the guy initiated contact and hit him, bumped him 15 yards upfield. Preach. But in the end, none of it matters because they had to win this game. Oakland had to win. We won this game three fucking times, and it yep. didn't make any damn bit of difference. Especially that first down in the fourth quarter when the Raiders were out of timeouts, that was a first down. And they said, even the announcer said, they, 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 there was no evidence to, to reverse that call. Why would they do that? It's always the same sort of, well, I'm shocked, I'm shocked, you know. It's like, it, it was like Bottlegate. Oh, I'm shocked, you know. And I, I've never seen them before do something before where they uh, ground the ball and after the play, they go back and try to, you know, reverse the call from the play before. Yeah, it happens in Cleveland all the time. All the time. It was worse than Bottlegate. It was like the 1972 Russian-USA Olympic basketball game. That's what it was like today. And, and I'll tell you something else. I mean, Dwayne Rudd removing his helmet. They had videos of five different plays, five different times that players did the same exact thing, and it was never called. Never fucking called. But when little sissy team does it, you see, we can laugh. Ha, ha, ha. It was the Browns. And the Browns fans, you know what they're saying on Twitter? Well, the Browns got a Browns. And that self-pitying feeling is exactly why this country is going down the pee hole. That's why. Yep. That's Preach. the reason. It's because we accept. We accept the crap that's thrown at us. A man who's about to go on the highest court in the land, and I don't care what people in Ohio think, he's a fucking rapist. There are three witnesses who are material witnesses. There are more witnesses who will tell you that he lied on the stand. And, I mean, if he lied on the stand, he's not fit to be on the 
the, the biggest court and the most powerful court in the country. He's not qualified. But you see, yeah, Bill Trump Clinton gets the law fucking free. Oh, after shut up! Shut years. up about Clinton. He's gone and dead. Bill Clinton's or, dead. What about His wife Bill is dead. Flashing people. God oh, damn yeah, it! We can with God that damn, Brett Kavanaugh's a rapist. He's a fucking guy who whipped his dick out in front of people who got drunk. He lied about his drinking, and oh, I occasionally have a beer, and I like beer, you know. And you got witnesses who will tell you that he was just smashed to smithereens. He's a liar, is what he is, and he's working for a lying government. And the people in the Senate are liars, and the NFL are liars. That's what it boils down to. And I'm tired and I'm sick of it because I just want to watch a fair game. If my team loses a fair game, I got no problem. You know, it's like we were up in that game 28 14 and the wheels came off. And that is our fault. Okay. We're a young team and we didn't execute the way we should have. And the wheels came off. But we got ourselves back together and took the lead. And the second that happened, the league went into its two-minute drill to fuck the Cleveland Browns like they've been doing for decades. And, you know, I don't like being a doormat. I don't like to have to support a team that's a doormat team. I don't like it. I don't like the way this makes me feel. It, 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 I mean, all I want is a fair outcome of a game. I mean, and I can't get that from this league. This league is the league of you know, of the Republicans. It's the league of the right wingers. It's the league of a bunch of fucking liars. It's a league of the gamblers. It's a league of things, you know, 32 owners. Is that how many teams there are now? 32? Uh, yeah. 100% of them, 100% are right wing Republicans. 100 per 100%. You know, you don't like the way the league's being run. Ah, you don't have to look any fucking further than that, do you? You know, it's not a safe league to play in, and it's not an honest league to play in. You know, or if they decide you're going to play or you're not going to play, that's the league we're looking at. And my Browns, they fought hard. They're inexperienced. Baker Mayfield and the team had a really bad stretch where we lost our composure, but we got our composure back and we won that football game. Carlos Hyde got that first down, He's and so there is, they yes, called it on the field that he got it. They called it on the field. And you, you want to know something? Go back and watch the, 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 the replay of this game. Where they originally spotted the ball was intentionally short. Okay? This is all league fixing. Then suddenly when they came back to the picture, they moved it to where it should have been. And then they turn around and said, whoops, we thought it was still short. We better make it short. And they lied. They lied in front of the whole country. And that was a fumble. That was worse than any Tom Brady, Robert Kraft, oh I'm bawling a 20-year-old girl story. That's worse than fucking Palin's son abusing another woman. Family values, you know? <laughs> you betcha. You know, it's all crap. It's all fucking crap. Mr. This just in, the Kennedys kill another fucking girl. Hey, what a shocker. Yeah, look, there is no justice that I see in any of this. And my team fought hard. And you know something? We won the game fair and square. And all I ask is that if you say that the ball is here and this is where it's placed and you don't have a camera angle, that I mean, how in the hell can you overturn that when the camera is pointed at an angle? How could you do that? You would have to have a straight line across to that ball to really have any spatial relationship to make that overturn. They had decided that that's what they wanted from the get-go. And it's all because it's the Browns. It doesn't happen to anyone else in the league, folks. And it hasn't happened for the last, like, 30 years or 20 years to any other team in the league. We're the only one. Mr. Muhead, after yep. that first down was made, didn't it seem like 
that the whole – like, you already knew they were anticipating a tie because they're like, oh, look, they're going to punt the ball. Raiders get it back. And I'm like, oh, let me guess they're going to score here. They score. I'm like, let me guess they go for two. And it's like overtime. Let me guess they win the toss and win this game. It's just – it all just seemed like – it's like the Browns defense just gave up. It's like, it's like the whole Browns team's like, okay, we know where this is going. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it, it, that's – the way I look at it is – it was like it wasn't the momentum of the home team. It was the momentum of the officials. I mean, it, I mean, the Browns defense was exhausted by the end of the game. They didn't have a chance. They just were fucked. And but once again, we need to stop. Get three fucking carries. Yeah, we two of we, them for long touchdowns, but he only gets three three touches. You know, in the whole we won, game. we won the game. We won the game. Yeah, this, I, he, I the bottom agree. line I is. Uh, it, it, he can average thirty-five yards to carry. Ch- Ch- Chubb is a great runner who hasn't learned how to block yet, but he's a great young runner, and that's wonderful. We had an opportunity. Uh, he gave us an opportunity to win the football game. We did win the football game, and uh, I mean, it is just bogus. And any analysis of this game, uh, I mean, it, it just. There was a play earlier in the game where the same thing was the case, where they they tried as hard as they could to make it a, a fumble on the Browns, and they had no camera angle to show it. <laughs> and it turned out that they did have an angle to show it, okay? Because we finally saw that on the fucking television. And, of course, it wasn't, a, it wasn't even close to a fumble, right? Yeah, a uh, on a kickoff return. On a kickoff return. It wasn't even close. But they called it a fumble against the Browns it. just so that – in case they could say, well, you know, we don't have a good angle. We can't overturn it. It's Oakland ball. It's all rigged. Preach. Yep. That's really all the script rigged. read. <laughs> and That's it, all the script. And, and, you know, and this is why we're in this position, because the people like Andrew Coleman, even with the refs at the end of the day, the Browns were up 28-14. Same old team. And you self-pitying little prick. And I know you make comments on, on the show but you're a self-pitying little prick. And that has nothing to do, the past of this team has nothing to do with what happened on the field today. And winning on the road is a hard thing, and the Raiders do have a potent offense with a couple of very good wide receivers. And if you thought that 28 points was going to be enough to defeat this team, you were wrong. I would say same old Andrew Coleman. Not same old team, because the same old team wouldn't have come back to take the lead 42 to 34, would they have, Andrew? So your premise is so far off, you know, why don't you die in Northeast Ohio? Because you you, you obviously are just a self-loathing, loathing, self-pitying person. I mean, I don't get it. The fa- See, when you start buying into this shit then you do exactly what the league wants you to do. Just like you do, just like what the government wants you to do. They tell you to put on your seatbelt. Even though it doesn't save lives, you put on your seatbelt because you're afraid a policeman's going to stop you and fine you. You do what you're told. You know, I don't do what I'm told. That's why I don't have sponsorship on this fucking program. I don't do what I'm told. And I really get surly when that happens. We tried to start the show, and I yelled at the panel here. I'm surly. I'm angry because it just fucking pisses me off that everything that I see that's happening in the world is dishonest. Those totally red, dishonest. Those reps did everything to bail the Raiders out. I'm sorry. They, they, yeah. they did everything to help the, the Raiders win this game. And if I didn't go full circle on this the same thing goes for the fucking rose mcgowan and the me too movement why don't you let people be people why don't you distinguish that there is a difference between men and fucking women you know there is a difference we can out bench press you in most instances okay and you know something it isn't that men are superior to women intellect is equally distributed and Rose McGowan and the Me Too group are a bunch of fucking morons. Why is Alyssa Milano in the goddamn proceedings? Why is she there? This is a fucking Senate hearing. I don't want to see that cunt. I don't want to see it. It's all politicized. It's all like entertainment today. And look, it's Alyssa Milano sitting there listening to Judge Kavanaugh. It's like, fuck it. 
It's all political. Hey, somebody needs to turn your mic off or something. That was me. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Uh, God almighty. It just pisses me off. The we whole new thing. person here. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I, I am just so fed up with the way things are. There's just no integrity. And it's really hard. It's hard watching this. Crazy. <laughs> it's just it's just hard as hell. I mean, and I have to sit here and come on afterwards and try to say something intelligent about this. You know, one play that really uh, hurt us. You know, the car made a great throw when Avery made a great play, and you know, and, and their tight end caught the ball. You know, they made some plays. I'm not going to sit there and say that the Raiders this, the Raiders that. Although they did interfere with Duke Johnson on that play, and it should have been a five-yard holding penalty, which would have been an automatic first down for the Browns. Not a pass, it's not a pass interference. It's a you hold. Know, yeah, you right. know what I think what the biggest turning point of the game was? The, what was that? Third, the third and four run where Carlos Hyde got the first down with 152 to play. That was game. The, the They measured. It was past the nose of the ball, but yet the official overruled both the replay and the measurement. That was the game. It demoralized the Browns. Yeah, absolutely. And you know that you're being told that you can't win. And this is exactly how we end up with guys who quit the Cleveland Browns and give up. Because you look at a game like this and say, God, we won the game. I, I'm sitting there, you know, and, and and Baker Mayfield is saying, you know, I'm getting ready to take a knee and we've won the game. Yeah. And that happens. I it's mean, over. it was over. I said that they needed three first downs. They got the first down with uh with uh Carlos Hyde. He got the first down. Then yeah. Nick Chubb ran the 40 something yard touchdown. That was the second. Uh, first uh, first down that they needed. Then the Raiders had to give the ball up. And then Carlos Hyde got the third first down, and they took it away. Uh, and you could literally see the Browns offense walk off the field like, you've got to be kidding me. Here we go again. And then it was over. They literally gave the Raiders that game. I want to know the betting lines for this because this is oh. ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I just think that it's just a headline. I think it's a headline that they can say, Browns blow it again, find a new way to lose. Yeah. And, and Mary Kay Cunt is going to be the first one to say, I'm not, they found another way to lose. Ah! And, and Cleveland.com, and they'll be exactly like the guy in the chat room, Andrew Coleman. They'll be self-loathing, self-pitying yeah. little idiots. That's mm -hmm. what they will be. Because, again, I am defiant. This team is a good football team. This Cleveland cool. Browns is a good football team. Uh, Baker Mayfield is a great young quarterback. He's not got the tools yet. I mean, look, Troy Aikman was 1-15 in 15 in his rookie season, okay? And the following year, they got Thank him, you. Michael seven Irvin. Nine. They were 7-9 and nine their second year. Yep, they got him Michael Irvin, didn't they? They got him some wideouts. We don't got anybody. We don't have – I mean, we got guys like – like Callaway, who have crab claws, but we don't have receivers except for Landry, who could be double teamed. Najoku is a waste of time. Oh my God. If he <laughs> drops one more wide open pass, I'm going to scream. And how you, did he, he held on to the one he got hit high on? Yeah, when he's not even in contact with anyone, he can't catch the fucking ball. Oh my God. Super <laughs> fast stone hands. And you now, traded up to get him. Why? Uh -huh. Nobody was looking for him in the first round oh, when you had O.J. Howard sitting right there at 12. Preach. Well, Preach. Yeah. yeah, here we go. Brian saying, heavy money put on the Raiders to cover this game. Well, <laughs> well there you go. There you have it. You know, it, it's like uh, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, so. heavy money on, on this, uh, on the Raiders to uh, cover. Yeah, I, I mean, it's just pathetic. there, and there you have it right there. Yeah, I mean, this is just dishonest, and nobody, you know, and they'll well, just who the hell do you think is building their goddamn stadium? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, that was like you know, I, I was reading an article, Texas AM, this is right up your, your alley, Stephen. Five yeah. years ago, built a new stadium, you know, yeah, yeah, 485 million dollars, half a billion dollars to Where that rebuild that from. From Texas A&M. Fucking, fucking A. How can a university? 
How the hell UCLA is not USC? Where did you get that money from? Texas A&M. Texas A&M got half a billion dollars to put into a football <clears throat> stadium. Everything is fucked up, man. Everything is totally yeah. fucked up. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It, I'm it, a Longhorns fan, and we're just extending two sections, and it's not even a quarter of what they spent on theirs. <laughs> and we're a bigger school than they are. <laughs> and if, if, if I were the Browns players, I would come out and say, we got screwed by the something referees, good. and we got screwed by the league, and you know something? Fine our ass, but we're not going to accept this, and we're somebody not going to internalize it. Finally should do that. Like you or somebody on the team should come out and call out the referees. You won't be the last person to do that. I would expect Haley to do that. Somebody yeah, needs to do that. Is yeah. Well, you know, you can say – Somebody in the chat room is saying, well, the Raiders are horrible. The Raiders were winning all three games that they lost. And I'm not saying they're that good a football team because they're not. And I'm not saying that the Browns played a great football game because they turned the ball over far too many times. What I am saying is that they overcame their meltdown to come back and win the game. And they had it taken away from them. Can I say something about Greg Williams? Dude, how many times on third down do you have to blitz? They picked it up. They realized what you were doing. They were licking their chops on third down. Stop blitzing. It only worked one time, and that was when Jamie Collins got the sack. Yeah. Now, uh, Brian uh, Baylark, uh, why do we take that deep shot in overtime? We only needed five yards. Baker threw a pick. All right. Uh, in, in overtime, uh, we, we had the ball, and uh, Duke Johnson had an opportunity and was interfered with. He was held. Uh, as far as the play calling, I get pissed off when we're on the one yard line. We run a fucking end around reverse to Callaway for the second time this year that goes five <laughs> yards backwards. I'm the, look, that's ridiculous. You don't, you don't like the QCUC plays? No, I do not. I mean, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, to, to me, it, when the Bears and the Eagles run that kind of shit, they they use their tight end who can actually stretch and score a touchdown. You know what I saw on Twitter the other day? What did you say? I, I saw a person actually <laughs> write that I, the comment that was made was, I'll tell you something, if Kavanaugh is not nominated, there's going to be another record turnout just like there was in 2016. And it's like, boy, I'll tell you, people, I mean, do you know that more people voted, a higher percentage of the voting population voted in 2012 than in 2016? The fact is, is that people don't believe truth anymore. The problem is people are misinformed. And you're not going to see the highlight of Carlos Hyde making the first down and the referees fucking the call up. Instead, they're going to show you the, you know, Monday night football minute long half. You know, halftime highlights, and you're just going to see, and he kicked the field goal, and the Raiders won. And that's what you're going to see. Yeah. No, you're going to see the, the the goddamn Mayfield fumbles four hundred from 412 different fucking angles. <laughs> yeah, that too. That yeah. too. They'll and, show the Baker interception. They'll show that, and they'll say, he ain't so great after all, is he? Yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 and they're not going to show the fumble. 42 points. Yeah, they're not going to show the uh, car well, fumble. Uh, yeah, explain to me. I want to ask the panel this, and and I want to ask people in the chat. Ask this. the panel, man. Ask the panel. We're here, yeah. man. What, ask, what was the call when Ogan Joby picks the ball up and runs it the other way uh, on the fumble by by Carr? They blew it incomplete. An incomplete pass. Never mind that it was clearly a fumble. Clearly I, a fumble. I but mean, what blew it incomplete? His How arm wasn't moving. Was at his waist. He ball, his arm wasn't even moving. I mean, I, I'm just like, how in the hell can this happen? And then I just realized, you know, uh, for, for a group of people who are suddenly happy to be in power, saying that everything is rigged, they sure as hell don't recognize rigged when it's rammed up their fucking asshole, do they? I mean, rigged is rigged. As long as it doesn't affect their paycheck. As long as their paycheck is exactly. all they care about. As long as their check is clear, who cares? They don't see anything. Only in this country right now can the side that won the election claim the election was rigged, even though they won. I don't I don't understand how what what it is. What what lack of reality? I, 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 it's just mind-boggling to me. 
It, to me, I'm looking at rigged means what I just saw. That's rigged. And it isn't just one or two calls. I, I mean, how do you call an automatic first down holding call on Brian Body Calhoun, who puts his hands out <laughs> at the line of scrimmage and puts his hands on a guy's jersey and they call him for a hold? What happened happened to the, exactly. What happened to the uh, contact within five yards of the line of scrimmage rule? These rules that mean was nothing. Legal, that was legal Brown. contact. I know. I don't, it means nothing when it's the Browns. And nobody says a word about it. And you won't read about it in Cleveland.com. You won't see it on the other podcasts. You won't, you won't, you won't see it on these idiots who go, okay, I'm going to go over play by play with you. What happened to this game? It is <laughs> oh, it's the, it's awesome. the Browns recap show. You know, it's like, go fuck yourself. You know, <laughs> how her can't wait to rip Baker Mayfield a new one in the morning. Oh, he had three turnovers. He can't wait to say that. He can't wait. I guarantee you that's what he's going to say. You know something? One thing that I am glad of in this game, right. because doing? when we when the wheels came off and uh, the, the bad exchange between Treader and, and Mayfield, and I still don't have an explanation fully on that, uh, so I'm not going to point fingers at one person or another. Uh, the, the, the broadcast was saying, I don't think it was Mayfield's fault, but I don't know that either. I don't know what happened there. If, if Baker pulled out too soon, well, it's like it came out early to me. But yeah, I mean, you just yeah. don't know. I, I don't know. But the wheels came off, and uh, and I'm not going to sit here and say that. Uh, you know, then the next time we got the ball, we just hand the ball up the middle, and we just literally go three and out, and we just allow them to take the lead. And you know what I was saying in my TV in front of my TV was, you know, something you drafted a kid number one. He's putting points on the board for you. And, yes, he's going to make mistakes. We knew that going in. He's a young quarterback, and it's his first start, and it's his first road game start. Let him win or lose the game. Don't take the ball out of his hand and just tell him to hand off up the middle and then bury your head into the ground and punt. Give him a chance. And you know something? They did. And when he got well, the he got the ball down the field, he got enough points to win the football game, and it should have been a happy ending for him. And instead, it ends up like this again. Yeah. I'm one of those crazy people. I would have ha had the guy that they can't stop running the ball, Nick Chubb. Well, you know, here's the deal. I would have played him certainly more snaps than what they played him, but you have to remember there's a couple of things that I'm noticing about Nick Chubb. One is he can't block. And I think a lot of it maybe has to do with the lack of familiarity with the playbook and what his responsibilities are. And I think when you're in a situation where you're deep in your territory, we hit that stretch where we were, you know, thanks to, you know, Jabril Peppers and his amazing uh, uh, 10 yard kickoff return. How, one kickoff return, he tried to almost take him. a knee. He almost took a knee him. outside the end zone. He thought he was in the end zone. He has no idea where he is or what he's doing. And we don't have anybody who can return kicks. We have no special teams whatsoever. And, uh, you know, so Jabril Peppers runs it to the 12-yard line. We we were turning the ball over, and our defense was getting hit with the short field consistently. They were intentionally kicking off to Peppers or Callaway, knowing they couldn't get the ball past the 20-yard line. And we were deep in our own territory. I'm aware of what you're saying, Brian, and I think if the three carries is absolutely ludicrous, but at the same time, when you're back in your own territory like that, it might be hard to give a young guy who's unfamiliar a lot of snaps in that situation. And unfortunately, our special teams just put us into a hole and turnovers put us into a hole that way. But yeah, I want to see a whole lot more of him. Uh, but I mean, what's the difference? Whether he gets the first down or Hyde does and they don't call it. You know, yeah, what? but even if you ran for 15 yards, I mean, at least you're out. Uh, you're out closer to the the 50. So, I mean, I, you know, again, I, I wanted at, 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 for the Browns when they lost their composure to go back to Baker and say, "Look, you're the man. This is the way you coach a young player for confidence. You're the man. You're the guy, and you're, we're going to ride you." you to a lot of wins in your football career. And, you know, understand that we get it. Streeter being forced on the field because of a cramp with Callaway. You know, we understand we don't have weapons at the wide receiver position like we're going to next year. Dorsey will get them for you. 
but yeah. it's it's not happening this year. But go out there and and re- really let's really try to win this game. We just want you on your own merits to succeed or fail. And it didn't happen because the league wouldn't let him succeed on his own merits. It's pathetic. You know what? There's something else. There's other plays where the Browns cost themselves the game, and that was those goofy two-point conversions. Just stop chasing points. Kick the PAT. If you would have kicked the PATs, you would have won this game. Well, no, not necessarily because they ended up on an even number. They ended up on an even number anyway. So, because uh, they got two two point conversions, so it, it all the fail was made up for, and, and and so it came out okay. But what I don't understand, and I saw the Raiders do the same thing when they got near the end zone, they tried an end around. I'm holding my head, going, "God damn, you got Marshawn fucking Lynch. Who? He's I, why aren't you just running the ball into the end zone? Who I am was really with their offense. Who at the time was their offense early in the game? Marshawn Lynch was the reason that the, the Raiders were able to sustain drives. Exactly. And when Lynch went out, Lynch would make a big play. He'd go out of the game, and then they'd bring in their, their second string running back, and he'd get stuffed. Number 30. Yeah, okay. Hold it. Hold it. Joe Askew, my man, is getting some after game comments. Uh, Baker Mayfield's quote It must have been a heck of a review to overturn that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> You don't go quietly into that good night. You know, it, speak up, speak up, be a hey. prick like me, be a prick like me. <laughs> Absolutely. A link in the bottom, he says he wants to jump in. Hey, if he if, if Baker gets oh a, a link, league, if he, yeah, if, if you can resend the link in the in the in the discussion so he can uh, jump in real quick. Okay, hold on a moment. He's hey. over. He's on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, he he's in the comment section right now. Okay, hold on a moment, please, and I will. Uh, dump that in there. Um, and here is the link. No, I'll try it again. Yeah, yeah, it just popped Here's in. A, I'm at it right now. All right, good. I, I put it again. Uh, all right, so now uh, anyone wants. Matthew Beaver saying, not even a fan of the team, just for the game. They got screwed. Definitely had the first, even when they marked it short. That's right. I mean, uh, uh, there's no accountability in the league, and it, it really kind of ruins uh, everything. Uh, uh, Nick Yenison, they didn't rule it incomplete. They said forward progress was stopped before the ball yeah. came out, which wasn't true. Okay, it was first contact, and he still fumbled the ball. So the way the officials – I thought they were going to pull the inadvertent whistle cocksucking bullshit that they always do. But, this, but Nick, you're, you're probably right about this. Forward progress was stopped. Isn't that something? Yeah. Isn't that something? And, you know, you can kick the football in, right in front of a referee and commit a personal foul and get away with it if you're Marshawn Lynch. That's another thing we learned right. today, too. So, uh, look, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. I'm sure you've already covered it. How disgusting is the worst officiating game I have ever seen in my life on any yes. level? High school, college, fucking professional. I fucking believable. Oh, man. And, and this is a guy who smokes weed. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I was going to quit. He calls me to buy a new yeah. quarter. <laughs> and they said that the referees had 139 years experience between them. I don't think you should be out refing a game if you've got an AARP card in your pocket. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's 130 years combined of cheating. Yeah. That's why. They've had lots of practice. They're real good at it. Hey, thank God we didn't put the deeds to our house up on the line. Otherwise, Goodell would become taking them right now with that greedy Dude, little bastard. I'm sure you've already covered it, but how well, the you know, fuck was that Okeechobee fucking fumble recovery called dead? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was a fumble. Yep. What the fuck? Right, we did cover that. <laughs> yes. It, it, it was not an initial contact. The ball came out. Yeah, no. Just uh, you know, Jarvis Landry said the overturn was an awful call, and he and said he watched Hyde reach the ball past the marker. Good. Well, yeah, they're on the field. <laughs> they know whether it's a first down or not. Yeah, that's I hope right. his wife gets fucking raped in her fucking ass, and I hope he gets his fucking balls chopped up. Me too. Me too. And, and you know something? We have the man to do it, Brett Kavanaugh. We have the man to do it. God damn it! Come on. Come on. <laughs> I think Jonathan has a bigger dick now. Right now. <laughs> I just love doing this. Jedi Philip Four is saying this is why league ratings are going down finally. You know, it's just like 
Papa John Schnatter, the little penis. You know something? <laughs> Mr. Orange makeup faggoty ass guy. This guy was ruining his own company and blaming the NFL. Okay? Oh, yeah. He fucked his own company. The real reason the ratings are going down... Isn't it funny that there's not... Do you know that as of the end of the 1 o'clock games, there was not a single roughing the passer call in the entire league. In the entire league. And I bet you there wasn't one... I didn't they see one in the Browns game either. And the I was watching Red Zone, man. It didn't happen yet. Yep, and and they're not a single one. And that was with all this criticism of the league. The league is wishy-washy. The league is fixed. The league is rigged. The reason the ratings are going down has nothing to do with players kneeling. It has to do with the dishonesty, the lack of integrity at the top of this pyramid. And the reason the ratings are going down is because they don't even know the rules of their own fucking game. No, That's no, hold, hold up, hold up. Partially, I, I think it is because of the kneeling. Because on a few flights, I met some old folks that said, you know, my my, my husband has been a, has been a fan for years, and he, he won't get. But that's probably a minuscule amount. But it today today from what I did see, I did see uh, defenders making a conscious effort to get out of the way, just like the one where the guy got hurt. I mean, even on straight on glass, like the guy. I can't remember which game it was before I left for the Browns game. He clearly blasted the quarterback and he got out of the way too, to make sure he didn't fall on him. So the league's garbage. Bottom line, league's garbage. Welcome to the NBA NFL. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, there's no integrity and, and I, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm never speechless. Okay. But, (laughs) but you see it so many times that it's like, well, how are they going to pull this off this time? How are they going to fuck us in the butt this time? How's it going to happen? He got boofed. Yeah, we got boofed. <laughs> I'm sure you already covered it, but we we got fucked hard, right? I mean, yes. boofed. I mean, yes, we were in the yeah. devil's triangle. You get man. pissed on that one. Uh, well, you know, not, uh, no one to be seen anywhere. Rob Mack is saying Hugh Jackson should be fired. He should have gone for the quarterback sneak. Oh, Hyde did have, awesome. but he had the first down. You know, they're going to force us to turn the ball over deep in our territory so that the Raiders will automatically win the game. There is no way that the Browns can go for fourth down after getting screwed on that spot. There's no way, and the league knew that too. Yeah, uh, and, and, and fucking being up 14 points with five minutes ago, obviously Roger was like, hey, no. My, my my boy John Gruden cannot go zero and four. Make sure the <laughs> motherfucker wins. If if you heard on the announcers, they kept talking about John Gruden can't start zero and four. I can't believe this. He, he's zero and four. He's it's it's fucking ridiculous. That's all I kept talking about. I'm like, okay, where is this going? If y'all keep bringing this shit up, you can't lose to the Browns. That's the really, most disgusting the Browns. thing I've ever fucking seen in my life. I can't lose the Browns. They have to thing, justify man. that hundred million dollar contract, don't you know? But you know, you know what the saddest part of it all is? Unbelievable. If, if you're if you're a Cleveland fan, you're going to be upset by this. Where they, move the, where every, they move the ball just so that they do get a first down when clearly they were short of one. Every everybody in the country will sit there, and it's no different than watching Kim Kardashian's ass. It's no different than the, the bullshit that we get. From every politician, the lies that we get and how they, are, you know, it was just like I remember the, the, the video of Bill Clinton uh, laughing at a funeral and then in an instant a tear appears in his eye. Right. You know, oh, funeral. We're, we're, we're sitting here dealing with people who are pathological liars and, you know, Everybody just swallows it. The fans swallow it. LeBron's making his debut tonight as a Laker, and all, all the fans are on it. Oh, boy, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, you know? And, you know, Lonzo, Ball, is, Lonzo Ball isn't that bad, you know? And I'm, uh, I got my I got my Lakers jersey. You know, you know, I, I think he made that comment because he's injured, though, right? Yeah, it, it, You're getting played, man. You're getting played, and you're willingly getting played. And, you know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, as long as there are a few people who resist and who fight this shit, then I'm all for it. By the way, I had, uh, and this will tell you everything you need to know. And Brian, I direct this at you. Okay. 
<laughs> and and I, I and I want you to understand that I'm going to go 50-50 on this with you. All right, we have different political beliefs, and your side believes that it's the Democrats who are destroying free speech in this country because of political correctness, right? And that? and I think it's all both sides that are doing it. I got booted from Twitter. We a, no, we have a complete political class consisting of both sides. Mitch McConnell is is the Republican side. Uh, Chucky Schumer is the Democrat side, and they both fucking want to run the country into the ground, like a big seven forty seven. A Fox News contributor posted on Twitter that there are millions of women who support Brett Kavanaugh, and I wrote to her back in response. And I said, you represent a news organization that has a history of sexual abuse to its female employees, Roger Ailes, who has a history of only hiring attractive women to be, when more qualified women are out there, yeah. only attractive women. I went to her website and she's posing in a sexy pose with a handgun on a shooting range. And I said, you are no different than any of these other bimbos on Fox News. You don't even know what your self-interests are. Well, you say, what, what the fuck does that have to do with, with the credibility of the witness? What I mean, the hell, What the hell does any of that have to do with the credibility of the witness? I mean, the hypocrite. But first of all, where does millions of women of support for Brett Kavanaugh even come from? It's made up statistics. But the bottom line is what I'm saying to her is you were hired because of your appearance like the other but that women. But nothing to do with the witness. But no, 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 no. <laughs> But, but, but when Orrin Hatch says that she's an attractive witness, you know, the bottom line is we she's have a problem. Attractive. She's not and, attractive and everyone believes her anyhow on your side. Uh, but, this isn't about politics, but seriously, she's not well, attractive. Let me finish the story. Okay. So for the word bimbo, she reports me to, to Twitter. And they, they locked me out of my account for using the word bimbo. Wow. What? Wow. And you're on her side too. What the no, fuck? No, I'm not on her side. She's a twat. Oh, I thought you were bimbo, isn't it? I thought you were referring well, here's to one. Ford. I'm sorry. No. Here, here's no, I one. Told her that by Joe Scarborough had an intern die in his motherfucking office, and it got swept under the goddamn rug. No cause of death, no nothing, no investigation, I, you know, and he's making millions of dollars with another shithole, uh, a daughter of a shithole, who's responsible for multi hundreds of thousands of deaths. It is to me. To wait, me, wait, 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 wait. How did an intern die in his office? Slowly. That's a good question. Nobody but, knows. Even if, even if Kavanaugh is telling the truth, they're all scumbags. Honestly, they're all scumbags on both sides. So come on. Yeah. They all got skeletons in their closet. They're all doing the grab you in the pussy with with Jameis yeah, Winston. They're all fucking Republican asshole and Go ahead, let Mr. Let talk. Y'all let Mr. Let talk. I, I you know. just I just wanted to point out that it was a right wing Republican who reported me for using the word bimbo to get me knocked off Twitter. It isn't one side that's prohibiting free speech. It's both sides and. The truth of the matter is, is that we are living in a totalitarian country Class, now. And we need to vote the assholes out. And it's more than that, man. It's yeah, more than, it's way it's, more than it's, that. It's way more than that. It's right. Because our freedom of speech is being taken away from us. And uh, as long as I can let it, let you. By the Hollywood fucking elites. And I live out here. Uh, it's uh, I can't stand it. How many hand jobs did you have to hand out, Mike? <laughs> Arthur Shady. Hey, Arthur Shady <laughs> agrees with me. One person agrees with me. <laughs> God almighty. All right. At any rate, going back to the football game, it's all just part of the bigger picture anyway, and I feel badly. Uh, I don't have, you know, I, because I do the show live, it's not like I can run over and, and see what they're all saying. Uh, if anybody in the chat room wants to do that, uh, feel free, uh, you know, 
Does, does, does anybody not believe that we got fucked? I mean, I know I jumped in late, but that, that was the most oh, despicable, despicably I've ever seen. I never, yeah. I've never seen a game at high school, college, or professional officiated that disgustingly. It was unbelievable. Hey, yeah, well, but here's, well, but here's say Michael. Is I feel that I've been road hard and put away wet. Yep. Look, <laughs> here's the headline on Cleveland.com. Browns lose Mayfield first start. Wait, Mayfield couldn't overcome four of his own turnovers in a yeah. loss. Oh, you God. see? And there you go. And that, Andrew Coleman works for Cleveland.com. You see, self-loathing, self-pitying little worms who do this shit. Oh, so he's trying to say that Ty Ride would have done better. Is that what he's saying? <laughs> hey, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's unbelievable. And then this he had headline. Three drop passes, the first play, the first, his first three passes of the game. Look. <laughs> The steps the Browns are trying to take this year aren't easy. Sunday's loss was a stark reminder. Terry Pluto, the masturbating oh my Christian. God. Terry no. Pluto, the <laughs> masturbating Christian. The guy who's proud that he jerks off for Jesus. Cleveland Browns fans, <laughs> this one hurts. No, what hurts is the thought of your bald head and your hand jerking <laughs> off. That's what, that's what hurts. Yeah. What, the Pluto thought of you. The planet anymore. He should change his name to Uranus. God Almighty! I mean, you want to no, talk about something? Uh, you want to go on a diet? Terry Platypus. Yeah, that's right. There you go. God, I mean, what does this tell you going into the next week against the Ravens? Because this is going to be a continuing problem with the refs and and this NFL crap. You're going to see more of this next week against. You the win by three touchdowns, mate. <laughs> that's what we have to do. Yeah, I mean, you, that's we have to win twenty-eight to ten. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is, because in all honesty, you can put 0% fault on Baker. I mean, the first drive, three drop passes. I mean, he had, I, from what I remember, and I'm buzzed, maybe, no, really? maybe, <laughs> maybe one bad pass. Maybe one bad pass. And, and it's just the referees. It was just, that was the most disgustingly appreciated game I had ever fucking seen. It's not on Baker at all. You can't put any blame on the kid. Are you in possession of Callaway's weed? Huh? Are you in possession of Callaway's weed? <laughs> can, can we drop one? Of the <laughs> he dropped one that turned into a touchdown. Another one, yeah. And Joku dropped one, and also, uh, uh, what's the other guy that uh, Hollywood Higgins? Landry. Oh, yeah. All three of them the dropped Landry. one that hit him. Right? That, that's that's, that's, that's the only reason why I said can't put on Baker. I mean, he had too many drop passes. I mean, look, look, look I, I, I'm reading this Terry. I'm, I'm reading the Terry Pluto article. On so we don't have to. You're reading it, so we don't have to. Yeah. That's right. No, but I, I'm trying to read the words between the cum stains that are. <laughs> um, here's. All right, Mayfield fumbled twice deep in his own territory. Once he blamed a communication problem. The other time, he had the ball ripped out of his hand as he dropped back to throw. So this is Mayfield fumbling twice. Look, no. the fumble that he was, it was a quick out to Charles, the tight end. And if you watch the play, the right side of the line, Hubbard Collapse. specifically, it was a two-step drop, for God's exactly. sake. And, and Hubbard couldn't keep his man off of the quarterback in a two-step drop. And that's Baker Mayfield's fault because the masturbating Christian wants, again, he's a self-loathing little prick. You know, you want to go on a diet and never eat again. Just picture that bald-headed <laughs> fucking Christian with his book signings in the mall. Well, it's like, here, 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 I'll give you my book. Don't touch that book, for God's sakes. I don't know where that hand's been. And picture him dropping eggs out of his ass. God, Just oh like a platter. You know these self-loathing riders and stuff make, make good money off the drama that comes from the Browns losing. Because they know if the Browns win, no one's going to watch their show or read their articles, you know? Yeah. Terry Pluto. Sucks. Don't have anything to complain about. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Okay. Terry Pluto. Okay. What's this? Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. Let's get it past that part. It said the Browns need to groom Mayfield, and that will take time, but it could be worth it. Oh my God. You know what? Makes it sound like he's a horse. You know who he looked like out there? Hey, the now. Man, guys, he looked like Brian Sipe out there today. That's oh, who he reminded me of. He looked like Sipe out there. 
Hey, hey, Mr. Muhead, I haven't done my, my research well, yet, but you picked a six foot quarterback. <laughs> Hey, hey, but I haven't. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look right now. But has, uh, has anyone on on uh, Cleveland.com? Oh shit, I'm buzzed. Have they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I, I can't focus. I'm breaking up, bud, and talking at the same time. No, but no, nobody's actually putting any any of the laws on Baker, are they? You know, yes. saying, King uh, King yes. King yes. King they are. That's what Terry Pluto just did. You know, okay. I, the I only way to do with Baker. the only way that Terry Pluto's <laughs> life could get better is if while he's jerking off, he suddenly discovers he has Parkinson's and can do it faster. Okay, that's mm, the only way his gosh. life gets better. Fuck him. Fuck him. Another self-loathing idiot. You know, people who've been in that area in Cleveland for too damn long. Recycle these people. Get them out, though. I mean, yeah, and he just actually started doing that video thing in this past year, and it's so fucking bad. Have you seen it? Uh -oh. it's like, it's once, so once. They're, like, they're horrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Terry's talking. Yeah, he's bad. He's bad. But not very well. But anyway, I, I just, it's just, dude, this game was so fucking, it was so obvious that Roger was not going to let fucking Gruden lose. It was fucking. I mean, it was obvious we won the fucking game with five minutes to go. It yeah. Was fucking unreal. I cannot believe how bad they officiated this shit. Oh, don't cry. The man. last five minutes of the game. Six no. minutes, five and a half, whatever the fuck it was. You're saying it's the reps, right? I, th I think oh the dogs. Here, here, the I think dogs the, are coming for The him. dogs have signaled the end of the program. I, it's nine o'clock. I got to eat dinner, for God's sake. And if I keep harping on. Terry Pluto jerking off. I'm gonna have no appetite whatsoever. <laughs> hey, so, set the dogs on Terry. <laughs> Stick the dogs on Terry, then. I mean, they can't blame Baker for this game, even though he went 21 for 41. But I mean, no, no. they'll find they, a way. No. They, have, they have to break the only spirit that we have. There, right. It's the referee's fault. Oh, uh oh, a nice little dig there. Yeah. Do it next week at home, we'll have a riot coming out of the stands. Yeah. All right, everybody. Okay. That's it. I know yeah, you have a great time. We gotta get a petition going. We need the uh, we need a, the petition to say we need the Louisville Slugger Night at the next Browns home game, so that we can come out of the stands and beat the fucking shit out of the coaching hey, that's staff. What happens. You're, 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 we're we're four and zero, but because we're not on either one of those fucking bitch ass coasts, Bro. one, two, one, one, two, one. I'll tell you what my philosophy is: resist this authority. Acknowledge what happened, tell the fucking truth, and if you have any balls whatsoever, vote. Don't sit at home, vote. Midterm elections, vote. I don't care which way you vote, because that's your right, that's your privilege, living in a free country. But don't sit at home and bitch about it after the fact. And that's what pisses me off about the women. The women want to fucking get pissed off about this and pissed off about that. But look at the voter rolls. Look at what they didn't do. Look how they allowed older women to outvote the younger women so that we end up with the administration that we have. You know, you can't blame people who vote what they feel is their interest. You have to vote. You have to be active and you have to resist the authority. That's... But what's more important, because this is a sports program. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're we're all out of your mind. We're all from North <laughs> Ohio. So, Mitch Trubisky, the pride of Lake County. The pride, the pride of Mentor, Ohio. Look like a G today. So, yeah. And, 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 to, and to get back to Mr. Moo's point, everybody should fucking vote at these midterm elections. Like he said, whatever side you're on, you got to get out there and vote. But Mitch Trubisky... Uh, uh, I mean, take pick overall. I hope you finally get your worth or, or show your worth. Yeah, yeah. And remember, kids, a vote for a Democrat is a vote for communism. That's right. And you know something? <laughs> it beats totalitarianism. I've never seen a communist Democrat, but I sure as hell am watching a totalitarian Republican in the White House right sure. now. Look, you got one in Ocasio. Right and, there, in the hey, color. I, you know, I never, I've never felt this unsafe in my life. And, Regardless uh, of being totalitarian, 
or, or not, he's done more for this economy than any president has done in a long, long time. So yeah, no, you, said, whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. Thanks for coming on the panel. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry, Browns fans. I'm sorry. I've been doing this for 15 years, and I'm just so fucking tired of the same goddamn thing over and over again. But we will get back to you on Monday, and uh, we'll right. have something else to say. Six o'clock Eastern. You bet. Six o'clock Eastern Monday on Moohead Radio. Thanks for tuning in, and until Monday... Hasta la vista, Pastor Heads. <laughs> Wait a minute. And, 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 and for you, Rick, for you, Rick. <laughs> you won't let me hold that I'll, mic. I'll let I'll me hold that plane mic. dealer. We'll read it to, tomorrow night. It was egregious what happened today. Egregious. Yeah. That's, or, there's that's also. The word for the day. I also want to show Rick Silent Scream because Silent Scream, it, this is when you realize that. The bathroom break that Terry Pluto took at the book signing at the mall, he was jerking off in the men's room. It's this. <laughs> That's silent scream. Thank you very much. Everybody. <laughs> Dan's at home laughing his ass off, by the way. God almighty. All right, everybody. Take care. Hasta la vista, Pastor. See you Monday. Bye-bye.